Good morning, friends. Sorry there was no video yesterday, but I was having another bad air quality allergy day. I'm not exactly sure which it is at this point, but let me tell you, I saw videos on TikTok of the air in New York City, and we really have nothing to complain about here. I mean, we do, but it's so bad that the town is sending out messages to everybody, emails, to not go outside, so, or not go outside for prolonged periods of time, especially if you're sensitive, and I would probably sadly fall into the sensitive category. Anyway, I am going to make my bed and fold some laundry and get in the shower. I have a few little things to do today. I was going to go to the dump, but I vetoed that, and I'm not going to go till Saturday or Monday. I have to go to the post office because my friend Maureen, hi Maureen, sent me a package that I'm really excited about. And I want to talk to you about craft fairs. I am showered and as together as I'm going to be today. <clears throat> um, today's Thursday and I should be going to get my shots today, but I canceled it. I decided I needed a day off. I needed a week off with everything, with the air quality and the pollen and everything and I took a week off. I can technically have 14 days before shots, between shots, but not regularly. So I th figured after three months, one day off is not a big deal, especially because next week I have it on Thursday and then I have it again on Monday. So that's going to be a, a doozy of a week. Um, yeah, I'm going to go downstairs and have some coffee. And maybe I'll show you what I worked on yesterday. All right, the only thing I managed to finish yesterday was this, which I started the day before, another mermaid, but she has, you probably can't see it, sparkly hair and a sparkly tail. And I also <coughs> started another one here and she has new, new to me eyes. Hold on, take her hair out of her face. See them? They're little kawaii eyes that I got on Amazon. And, the other big task was that I seem to have accumulated, we'll use that word, right babe? Accumulated a lot of eyes. So I went through and organized all my eyes. These are specialty eyes and noses. And these are just the black plain safety eyes, which are my favorite actually. So. I did that because I had an order come in yesterday with the Kawhi eyes and some really big safety eyes. Priorities. Uh, now I'm going to get a cup of coffee and I'm going to sit down and finish that mermaid. It's time for lunch, but I finished uh, the... Let's see if I can get her hair to cooperate. Nope. I finished the mermaid. And what's for lunch today, Kristen? Taters. Baked potatoes in the Instant Pot. Easiest baked potatoes ever. So I'm going to make my potato and sit down and watch some YouTube for a little bit. Unanticipated, the post office is super busy. So I guess everybody is trying to make it back for the when they reopen at 1.30. That's okay. And I just realized I forgot a package that I need to get in the mail. So I'll have to take that out tomorrow. It wasn't set to go out till tomorrow anyway, but I forgot about it. So, yeah, and the weather is so crazy. It's blue-ish sky over here with white clouds. It's pouring where I am, and over there it's all smoky. I don't know, it's weird. It's very weird. Very apocalyptical. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go in the post office. All right, I'm back from the post office, and we got a couple things. The first thing we got is these. I'm going to make some pocket pharmacies. You may have seen them. They sell for $30 online, and these were 7 bucks. so I got those. I got this awesome package from Maureen, and this was in there too, but we've already been eating them. Delicious. And these are going to go on our all-year-round Christmas tree downstairs, one for me and one for Kristen. And then these arrived which I'm going to use to attempt to wash this. I'm thinking if I put, take the bands off and put both of them in the bag, it'll be tight enough that they won't get knotted up. So wish me luck. 
I think it's 5.30 or so. We just finished dinner. I have been working on this guy who's a moose. I'll finish him later. But my yarn just finished in the washing machine. I had some issues with it because I didn't take into account how much water it was going to hold onto in the ball. So the washing machine was all off. I can't think of the word. Off balance, that's the word. So I ended up having to put some towels in with it and that seemed to help. The laundry's over there for me to fold, but we're gonna give it the sniff test. It smells better. I don't know if it smells good enough, hold on. It smells a lot better. And when I open the bag, I don't smell any of the mustiness, so I'm gonna put it in the dryer and see how it does. And when it comes out, I'm gonna either cake it up. I don't know if my ball winder can handle a cake that big. So I'll, I'll roll it into a ball and see if the center smells also. Sorry, Kristen and Tom are outside trying to get the generator to start on our RV, so Dexter is on high alert. I should move my heat down on this. And we'll see how this works out. I think it's gonna be okay. But now I have to fold all that laundry. Wah wah. Having a moment here, but the dishwasher's running, the dryer's running, Dexter is having a treat. And Kristen and Tom are outside, so this is the perfect time for me to talk to you about craft bears, which I mentioned earlier. <clears throat> which all the cool kids are calling markets these days. Market blogs, market prep. Um, and I think that's because predominantly people are selling at farmer's markets. I mean, that's in, at least in my area, that's the mo most prominent venue to sell at. I have, in the past, done lots of craft fairs and lots of farmers markets and had my fair share of success at them and it got to a point where I didn't want to do them anymore because I would get way stressed out about it and we had four dogs and everything else. Now, and I went predominantly to Etsy, but after my Etsy was compromised and I can't get it back and I they're ridiculous for fees anyway. I don't want to go back on Etsy. It's just not something I want to do. If someone wants to order something from me, I have Facebook, I have Instagram, I have email. People can get in touch with me. <coughs> Dexter has been so mouthy today. <laughs> he just likes the sound of his own voice today. I think we've got it under control for the next 35 seconds anyway. So, that is a gross noise. Markets. I stopped doing markets. And I basically, at this point, work off of word of mouth or people, word of mouth, or people reach out to me online. But I have become obsessed with plushies and making all the plushies, and things are a little calmer in life. And I thought that maybe I would look into doing some craft fairs slash farmer's markets. Now, our town farmer's market is way better than what it used to be. It's now in an artisan park with Harpoon, um, Harpoon Brewery, uh, Silo Distillery, which is a vodka distillery. It has a preserves place. Um, it has Great River Adventures, I think, or Great, an adventure place. And it's just, foot traffic is going to be a, mo a, a lot easier. So I am contemplating, it's 10 or $20, I can't remember which. I'm contemplating going down tomorrow, because it's, it's on Fridays, and seeing what the foot traffic is like, and maybe there's a walk-in option. As long as you give them two weeks notice, you can, you can have a booth. So I'm thinking of doing that. And then there's one craft fair at the Fletcher, Fletcher Farms which is an arts and crafts school in Ludlow, Vermont in August. There's also one in July, but I can't do that one because um, Sadie's going to be visiting. So I've inquired about that fair also because I don't want to stop making plushies and um, they are taking over my house. Not only plushies, I also have a problem with knitting baby things. So I have quite the stack of baby things, which don't typically sell at 
craft fairs or farmers markets, but I could bring them with me. It wouldn't hurt me. I have all these um, pot holders that I'm obsessed with that I could bring with me. And if they sell, they sell. And if they don't, that's fine. I have a, a, an enormous basket full of hats which also, this is not the right time of year to be selling hats, but if I had them with me and somebody wanted one, I could, I could do that. So I'm thinking, I'm going to dip my toe back into fairs and markets, lightly. Um, it's not something I wanna do long-term, it's something I wanna do every once in a while, and when I feel like it, when I have enough, and I think that's why the town farmer's market is the best way to do that. In the past, I did this other thing in Norwich, Vermont, which was once a month they had a craft Sunday at the farmer's market um, farmer's market location. The farmer's market in Norwich, Vermont is very large every Saturday. And one Sunday a month they would let crafters come in and it was juried and everything. And the one in at the Fletcher School, Fletcher Farm, is juried also, which I prefer to go, if I'm going to pay Boko Bucks for a spot, I'd rather it be juried, so I'm not selling the same thing as the person standing next to me. But yeah, so that's my thoughts on markets. So now I'm contemplating what do I want to make, because I don't want to make a whole bunch of the same thing. I mean, I do, but I don't. And I have a plan that if none of this sells, what I'm going to do with the things. So I think I'm going to make a uh, a fair amount of small things. I have a bunch of octopus. I'm going to make some pocket frogs. I'm going to make some more small whales, some lower price items, my hospital. Anyway, this is a long drawn out way of saying I'm thinking I'm going to do markets. And I was curious what you guys thought or if you guys had any suggestions of things that I should toys that I should make to bring to said markets and I want to keep it on a smaller scale I say that but I just want to keep making these toys so maybe not on a smaller scale I don't know all right that's a long drawn out way of saying nothing and Dexter needs my attention again <laughs> this is certain to be a disaster so I washed this yarn and I dried it twice and from what I can tell it doesn't smell anymore but the center of the skeins was not getting dry. And it was a little knotted, even just in the balls. But I don't have much choice. I'm going to put these cakes in the washer. Again, oh, not the washer, the dryer. Again. And hope against hopes that it doesn't unravel. I mean, what could go wrong? Just everything. I could have a big knot. But, as I said before, I can't use this yarn smelly, so I put some gymnastics clips. <laughs> I don't know. That's what we I used them for when I was younger for gymnastics. Butterfly clips? I, they're not butterfly clips. Anyway to try and hold the skeins, but the hanks, not the hanks, the balls, the cakes, whatever they are, it's late. Um, I, I, I do think this is going to be a disaster, but it, well, they're in there pretty tight. Maybe, maybe not. It can't be any worse than stinky yarn, so stay tuned tomorrow. I'm going to throw this in the dryer and uh, see what happens. It's in the dryer. It's in God's hands now. We'll see what happens. Whatever is meant to be will be. And once I know the fate of that yarn, I am going to uh, leave my review on eBay. And I am also going to contact eBay and just let them know. I don't expect a refund. I don't even necessarily want a refund. But the seller did not respond appropriately when I told them what was going on. All they had to say was, I'm so sorry. That's all I had to say. All I had to say. Anyway, I did finish one more thing today, and that is this little moose. Cutie, cutie patootie. Um, 
I'll show patterns tomorrow because I don't have my, my iPads put to bed. So I think it's Mommy Stitch Ready or something on. It's definitely Mommy Stitch. It's Mommy. I think it's Stitch Ready on Etsy. And it's definitely on Etsy. I know that. But it's really cute. Relatively seamless pattern. You crochet the arms, crochet the body to the top of the head, but you do have to sew on the muzzle, the ears, and the antlers. And my antlers are a tad bit wonky, but I don't care. He's adorable. Isn't he? I think he is anyway. Jeez. All right. I am going to leave my yarn in fate's hands and go to bed. Well, first I'm going to edit this video and then I'm going to go to bed. Thanks so much for spending the day with me and I'll see you again tomorrow. All right. Bye.